Hello and welcome. It's Julie Coob. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a pour on this lovely 40 by 50 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, it's a nice canvas. It's got, I've just put the tape on the bottom to keep my bottom clean and I've put the giant push pins in. The um, link for them is down below in the drop down box if you're looking for them. So it's a nice canvas that I've got this nice um, timber frame for it. So I'm really hoping this piece turns out beautifully. So I need some colour today. I need some colour. Just had a bit of bad news this morning. No, a lot of bad news, but um, so my way of coping with things is um, come into the art room and paint. Paint your sorrows away. I mean, you can paint your joy away, your sorrows away. It helps either way, I find. So um, I'm in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna cheer myself up. So I'm just put the white on. It's just my normal white. I just want to lay this on the base because this one, I'm gonna see how it turns out, but I may even, probably not straight away, but down the track, put a um, stencil on it. P.O. I'm gonna really put some cheer me up colors and I'm going to do this composition around the outside to almost frame this canvas in color. So what better than a fluoro pink? So here we go. And I'll wiggle it. Well, if that colour doesn't pop your socks off, I do not know what will. So fluoro pink and then I'm going to add some of my oh, this is the cool red or oh, just just pre-made up in this bottle just the same go for the really bright yellow so it's a cool yellow get the bright colors in there so really just framing this canvas with these bright colors and we'll go for orange Orangey orange. I think I should have used the fluoro orange in there to really give it a pop. Radio, that's good enough. Um, I'm going to put some of the dark sea in there as my dark poppy socks colour. that will do with my bright colors what do you think and now I'll just add a little bit more actually that white's a little bit runny but it'll be fine 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 Righty-o. Righty -o. And somebody asked me why do I say righty-o a lot? Or righty-o. I don't know. It's an in well, it's definitely an English saying. 
they probably say "Radio, old chap and all that but um I don't know why I continue saying it when I've lived in Australia nearly 40 years so because they say all right mate so this is all right mate maybe I better change my wording to all right mate get rid of some air bubbles Righty, righty <laughs> goodness, that is a habit. That's a habit, right. Blowing it, I am actually blowing it out. gonna leave these I think she says as she gets her skewer don't know whether to blow those out slightly or leave them for the I suppose it does soften it a little bit Is very colourful, very colourful. Certainly framed that lovely canvas. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. It's a surprise. I'm actually wishing that I didn't put that orange in now because I just wish I didn't. But that is quite beautiful. could absolutely leave it as it is but of course I'm not doing that I'm going to um, embellish it absolutely fine as it is but you watch how these colors now will push their way through oh look at that so you can definitely walk away from your canvas at this time if you so wish and or walk away and leave the canvas for a good um, half an hour look at that I could put them in there, but I'm not. Um, because if you leave your canvas to dry off a little bit, you actually, you know, somebody that struggles with the balloon kisses, you actually find that if you leave it to dry off a little bit and come back, you'll get the balloon kisses form a lot easier for you. Because the paint becomes tacky and it doesn't fall in. Um, or you can do... If your paint falls in, you can wipe your balloon off and come back and re-balloon over that same spot again. But um, definitely having this as a frame for a future embellishment in there. But um, we'll do that another day. But I'm just going to completely finish off my lovely frame framed in flowers so and of course another little trick is you just get uh, it's just another balloon with a little bit of water in it I don't
put water in my bigger balloons because I've had disasters that way. And just come back and kiss in the center or if you want a bit more coloring. And it gives it an, an, another, another like smaller leafy effect, very cute, cutie patootie. And there you go, beautiful. Okay, needed something to brighten, brighten, cheer me up. So, oh, that's gone a little bit. Kind of that yellow, uh, that orange, it's the dark orange. I should have used a fluoro. It's just gonna see, it's a tendency to make it look dirty or um, what you call it, uh, muddy, but it's not, it's just cause that orange is not a very bright one. It's sort of a, a dull, I love, oh, look at that. Teeny weeny. Oh, those look cute. Oh, let's do some teeny weenies. Said I wouldn't, wouldn't I? Never, never say never. I say, <laughs> especially in my art room. Never say never, as in life. Framed in flowers. Gorgeous. That's cute. I'm going to bring you down to have a closer look, but that's really bright and vibrant and it's really lifted my spirit. So I really hope it's done the same to you too. Okay, that is really pop your socks off bright. So those tiny little kisses there. Yeah. I am really not liking that orange at all in this particular one. I mean, it goes in other things. I just don't like it in this one. But I tried. I tried. So I'm going to leave that now. I will not be doing any more to that. I think that's framed in flowers. It's beautiful enough. So my lovelies, please, if you're feeling sad, lonely, depressed or whatever, please ring a family member or a friend and if not certainly a helpline there is always someone there to help you so please take care remember you're no good to anyone else if you um, can't get through yourself okay bye for now